Hi everybody. This video is me doing some experimentation with exporting videos in Shotcut. Uh, at this point I had already exported uh, without any additional settings and I wanted to see what was going to happen with uh, parallel processing, hardware encoding, um, and combining the two together. So you'll see here just kind of fast forwarding through things. Um, this is going to be the parallel processing version. So uh, there'll be notes coming up on the screen and I'll chime in when I think it's necessary. I will also be showing uh, CPU usage, GPU usage, RAM usage uh, when I think it's necessary. You'll see me uh, just randomly show that um, here and there, to, uh, especially if like uh, shot cut is running slow um, or if it's behaving in a way that I just don't quite understand why. As you can see here, all of the cores are being used. So here I accidentally cut out uh, one of the videos, uh, screen capture videos. It took about an hour and 15 minutes, I think it was, uh, which is definitely faster than the two hours it took uh, without parallel processing. Uh, I just wanted to show everybody uh, the specs on my PC. Uh, you can see it's it's not exactly a weak PC. I got a, I got a high-end processor, Ryzen 9, 32 gigs of RAM, very fast solid state drive. So I really would expect uh, you know maximum performance out of this thing. Now, oddly enough, uh, even with the hardware encoder, it uh, doesn't look like the GPU is getting very much use. Uh, that one I was not expecting. Unfortunately, like's happened in the past, uh, it just seems like shotcuts locked up, even though it's we're done exporting. Um, the taskbar icon makes it look like it's still processing, uh, but it's all done, uh, and it just all around kind of got that weird behavior. Uh, hardware encoding was only just a little bit faster than no option set. So these delays that you see, um, especially when you see me shaking my mouse, that's not that's not like the screen capture not showing. Um, it, it's actually a huge delay in, in, in Shotcut responding, uh, if it responds at all. You can see here all the memory usage, uh, which is nothing drastic. I did end up having to kill this one. Uh, there was no real CPU usage. Uh, very little RAM was used. Here's me recovering. Uh, it takes quite a bit to get it to open back up. Yeah, more more lack in response. Sometimes on a restart, uh, it'll it'll run good off the startup, but other times it's doing what we're seeing here. So now this is going to be uh, both parallel processing and the hardware encoder enabled. Yeah, this one gave the lowest estimate, but it, it, it clearly isn't going to finish that in 17 minutes.
uh, despite having the uh, parallel processing option set, it, it was not using both, uh, or excuse me, all the cores, at least not equally, as it did the first time. I started doing some comparisons between the uh, the output videos. Yeah, through visual inspection, I didn't see a difference between the um, parallel processing one uh, and the no no parallel processing one, and I did a binary comparison, and they were equal as well. So again, not a ton of usage on GPU, CPU, RAM. Uh, still running pretty poorly. Uh, it is complete, I believe, at this stage. Um, and it was, I, I wrote here that it was the same time as the uh, parallel processing it was technically a few minutes faster um like we'll just say 10 minutes oh yeah that's right the the file the the file was larger too i, I wasn't sure why on that one yeah so over i get over here i'm just kind of showing you the stats for all the different files and of course unfortunately chat cut is kind of running like but um that i assume is something on my end because you, you know, obviously Shotcut's not perfect. It's an open source uh, piece of software. Uh, I mean, the best, I would say, open source for video editing. Um, but I, I've used this before on, on older computers. Uh, granted, that was 1080p stuff, um, but th this really shouldn't be running like this. So I don't know if I have like a bad setting or there's something else that I'm missing. Uh, but for this experiment alone, uh, granted, this was a quick one. You know, I just ran it with what I had. Uh, parallel processing definitely seems to work. I, I don't see a huge value in hardware encoding. Um, I would like to get other people in the community possibly involved so that we could uh, uh, try it on different processors, different systems. Uh, perhaps I can find somebody that has like a Ryzen 9 5950 um, or, or, or at least something similar. You know, maybe we'll just create uh, like a 10 minute video project, you know, and, and try to cover all the major. Uh, editing filters and stuff and whatnot and, and see what we can come up with. Um, so yeah, I could have done a better job with this one and I'll try to repeat this uh, with better, uh, uh, in a better control environment in the future. But I, it's like two weeks ago I did this and I've been wanting to get this out here. So I'm going to put this out here with this and uh, I'm looking forward to feedback from the community. Um, there's a couple guys that I go back and forth with on the, uh, the forums who were, who were pretty helpful. Um, a couple others that I think just get annoyed with me asking all my questions, but you know, I, I want to learn and I want to try to maximize uh, my usage of shotcut and I'm probably going to join the, um, uh, the f help develop with that. If I get an opportunity to, cause I'm a software engineer, I'm a little rusty, but I could definitely get back into that. So, all right. Um, if anybody's got any feedback on this, I'd appreciate it and uh, see you next time.